ASM. Now let's try to figure out the kinetic energy. We know the moment of inertia. Like I said, solid disk, one half mR squared. What we're using right now, mR squared, mass times radius squared, because all the mass is out here at the edge. Solid sphere, two fifths. So we're using the mR squared. Now, let's see, the kinetic energy. Well, there's an issue here. We got everything we need. We got moment of inertia, we got the angular velocity, but it's not in the right units. So let's get that right. Angular velocity is 90 revs per minute. There are two pi radians in one revolution. You may want to go back and review the section towards the end of Physics 1 on uh, angular rates and angular velocities. Two pi radians per revolution. We get into more why there are two pi radians in a revolution, things like that. It's nice to see again. Or just as painful, it's hard to say. And minutes, we got minutes on top, seconds on the bottom, 60 seconds in a minute, so the minutes cancel. And so it's going to be, uh, let's see, one, two, three, five, nine 9.42 um, radians per second. That should be about right. 9.42? Yeah, I like it. Okay, 9.42 radians per second. And so the kinetic energy is one half moment of inertia, angular velocity squared, which is one half 0 0.04 kilogram meters squared times 9.42 radians per second. And that's squared. I've got to figure that out. Uh, like 1.6 or something. Let's see. Uh, 1.77. Now we've got kilogram meters squared times radian squared per second squared. Now the radians, we just dump them. That's just an accounting, to, an accounting technique to make sure we know we're talking about angles. So forget those radians. We got kilogram meters squared per second squared. Well, that's a joule. So the answer is 1.77 joules. And that is rotational kinetic energy.